Okay, I'm going to show you how to find the total atomic mass of a compound. You'll need to know this for what we're doing in class, the empirical formulas and stuff. Uh, so make sure you uh, watch this video. It's really not that complicated at all. So let's just take a big honking huge uh, formula for a moment. And let's use ammonium dichromate. Now, ammonium dichromate is NH42Cr2O7. So I want to know the total mass of this. In order to find the total mass of this, I first need to break it up into all of the elements that make it up. Well, that's nitrogen, hydrogen, chromium, and oxygen. So these are all of my uh, elements. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to find the mass of each element from the periodic table. So I happen to have a periodic table right here. So nitrogen's mass, as you see here, is 14.007. So we go back here and we write our mass of 14.007. And then we have hydrogen, which is right here, 1.0079. I'm going to round that to 1.008. And so I have 1.008. Then we have chromium. So we come back to our periodic table. And we find chromium is right here, is 51.996. So we go back and we write 59.996. Sorry, I just had a complete loss of brain function. It's 51.996. And then we do oxygen. And again, oxygen is 15.999. So we come back and we do our oxygen of 15.999. Now, we have to multiply each one of these by how many there are. Well, we look at this, and if you look at your uh, formulas, you see that nitrogen is inside the parentheses, and there's two of everything in the parentheses. So this is two times uh, one, meaning I have two nitrogens, so I'm going to take my 14.07, and I'm going to multiply that by 2. And that gives me 28.014. That's my total mass of nitrogen. Now if I look here, I have 2 times everything in the parentheses. So that's 2 times 4 is 8 hydrogens. So I have eight hydrogens, which gives me a total mass of hydrogen of 8.064. And then I have, as you can see, two chromiums. So I'm going to multiply by two, which gives me a mass of 103.0. 992 for my chromiums and then I have uh, as a seven oxygens I'm sorry I didn't write that seven as a subscript but I have seven oxygens so I'm going to multiply this by seven and that gives me an answer of 111 0.993. Now that I have figured out the total mass of each element in the compound, I have a total mass of nitrogen of 28, total mass of hydrogen of 8, total mass of chromium of 103, total mass of oxygen of 111. Uh, now I'm going to take those numbers and add them together. And that gives me a total mass of 252.8. 063. So this would be the total atomic mass of 
ammonium dichromate. So you can see that the way that we find the total mass is you have to find the mass from the periodic table of each element, multiply it by how many of those atoms you have in your compound. Once you get those answers, you simply add them all together to get your total mass. That's how you find the total mass of a compound and you're going to need to know that in order to find percent composition, empirical formulas, and molecular formulas.